Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today we're going to take a look at the Kuyu Quantum keychain flashlight. So stick with me. So I always carry a small keychain flashlight on my key ring. It's one of the most handy items I have as part of my EDC. Whether I'm walking the dog or just walking through a parking lot and you know putting groceries in and out of my car, it's always handy to have a light with you at all times. So lately I've been carrying this little bad boy. This is the Quantum by Kuyu. Very cool little flashlight. This is the copper version. It does come in several different versions such as titanium which I'm going to be giving away at the end of this video. This light has two stages, a low 8 lumen mode and then a high 130 lumen mode so it's plenty bright for a keychain flashlight. It's got the XPG2 LED in it which pumps out that max 130 lumens. It's IPX-8 waterproof and it's actually got a glass lens on it. So pretty good build quality for a light this small. The coolest thing about this light is that it's USB rechargeable and that's amazing considering its small size. It takes a 10180 or a 10180 battery which is actually a lot smaller than a CR123 and you can recharge it. You simply just twist off the head and you can see there right in the threads there's a micro USB slot plug that into a USB battery bank or maybe your computer and you can recharge the battery that's inside. These lights have decent threading on them and they have an O-ring. You simply just screw the lens back onto the light after you're done charging it and then to operate the light it's just twist operation. So you have a twist for low and then you continue to twist it and it will go into high. It can be also done with one hand, which is nice as well, especially when it's on your keys. Unscrewing the back of the flashlight allows you to take out and replace the battery. You can see just how small this 10180 battery is, and it's very cool that you can take the battery out. Even though it's rechargeable, you know, batteries have a lifespan, so if you wear this one out, you can easily replace it with another one, something you can't do with other similar keychain flashlights, such as the Nikkor tube. As I said, they come in several different finishes. You can get a titanium one like this. You can get a brass, a copper, or a stainless steel. They even make a red version of the copper, which is really cool. So here is the eight lumen mode, and then we have the 130 lumens. You can see it's got a pretty good mix of flood and spot. So here's two of the models side by side, the titanium and then the copper. You can see that they're identical in size. There is a few little design differences. You can see that the back of this one just has a single bar that goes across and the titanium one has a couple spots where you can put uh, like a lanyard or hook it onto your keys. They both do come with small uh, split rings so that you can put them onto your keychain really easily. So if we pop the battery out here, I can show you just how small that battery is. Here is the 10180 battery compared to a CR123. You can see it is a lot smaller. Then we can compare the Quantum to the flashlight that I have had on my keys, the Phoenix E01. You can see that it's nearly half the size. It's roughly the same diameter, maybe a little bit smaller, but it's certainly only about half the size. And then the great thing about this little flashlight is you just screw off the head and you can recharge it via micro USB. So charging it is simple. I usually just use a battery bank. You can just plug in the micro USB and then you get an LED indicator there that will go off once it's fully charged. Pretty awesome to have that capability in a keychain light. The build quality does seem pretty good. The threads are pretty good here and it is pretty easy to screw on and off. The only thing that I've noticed with this o-ring here is that sometimes if you don't line it up perfectly when you're screwing this head back on you can tend to squish that o-ring but most of the time it works fine and it has really smooth operation for the low and then of course the high. Sometimes if you don't unscrew it all the way to its off position it can move around on your keys or something like that. So you just give it another half spin or so and then it won't turn on. There's a pretty good amount of twist before the top will actually come off. 
so you really don't run the risk of it popping off and that was the same with the phoenix light if you had it too close to the off uh, part you could press that and it would pop back on so you just have to give it an extra twist and it won't come on the titanium version works the exact same way just several twists and you get low and then you get high same amount of lumen output same led pretty much the same overall other than the slight uh, tail difference between this one and the copper version as I said, they both come with split rings and the titanium actually comes with a lanyard. Pretty cool to wear around your neck if you're just gonna go take the dog out or something. But I just use the split ring and then connect it to my keychain. You can see that it doesn't take up much room on my keys at all, which is great. I like to keep my keychain as minimal as possible. So where can you get these lights? You can pick them up from GearBest. I'll leave some links below, including some coupon codes for the different models to save you guys some money. Now keep in mind when you order from GearBest, it does come from overseas, so it can take two to four weeks for your items to arrive. So how do you win the titanium version? It's very simple. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel. You sign in with your Google account and click that red subscribe button. You'll be subscribed for my videos. And then the other thing you have to do is just put I want it in the comment section. So very simple, subscribe to my channel, put I want it in the comment section. I will let it go for about a week and then we'll be selecting someone out of the comments to send the titanium flashlight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Pretty cool little flashlight. I really like that it's USB rechargeable. I can just flip off the head and plug it into a battery bank leave it right on my keychain and it's good to go. It always stays fairly bright and I find that 130 lumens is plenty bright enough for a keychain flashlight. 100 or I'm sorry, 8 lumens at its low mode is perfect for around the house at night when you don't want to, you know, wake anybody up with a brighter light. So, awesome little light. It's cool that it comes in the different finishes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please give it a big thumbs up. Share it to your friends and family who might be interested. Uh, on social media, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. And again, guys, if you haven't already subscribed, click that red subscribe button for more videos.